everyone. Welcome back. Today we are going to be making some raspberry sangria soap. I hope you all had a good holiday and if you're anything like me you're also glad that it's over. Uh, Christmas is wonderful but it's very stressful for me every year trying to live up to my own expectations and so when it's over I uh, I'm so relieved. <laughs> I've got 364 more days to prepare for the next one. So, and happy new year. I hope this new year brings you everything that you hope for and let's get started. So I've already got my oil water solution mixed or my oil, my oil's mixed up. Sorry, I can't talk today. And I've got my lye water solution ready. So the only thing I need to add to this one right now is the colloidal oats that I use. And colloidal oats is nothing more than, essentially, it is grown up oats. It makes it a little fine. It's good for sensitive skin. And it also gives the bar a little texture, which I like. It's like it's nice for the bubblies and you know, slick feeling for soap, but also like a little texture to it. And um, oats is good for you, so. So I've got that all blended up. Today, um, what I'm wanting to do is like a layered design. I've got some um, pink soap that I had that I uh, shredded up to use as confetti in some of the layers. So I'm kind of going to do confetti layer, white layer, confetti layer, white layer, as long as I can. So that is the goal. Let us see. So I am going to go ahead and ooh, put my gloves on. And then we're gonna mix up our oils and our lye water solution. And we can see where, how this goes. So I don't know what the weather is like where you are, but here it is, and I live in the Midwest, and it is 60 something degrees today and raining. And right before Christmas, we had quite a bit of snow so the weather went literally from 20 something to 60 and if you ever wonder why people from Kentucky have like serious allergies and I get headaches whenever the weather changes real quickly like that but you just I'm wearing shorts today and you know there's no reason for that in February or January where I live so let me burp this and get all the bubbles out we don't want bubbles sit still Got my handy dandy lye water. I'm gonna pour that in here. Doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. And I hate it whenever it's not facing the right direction that I like. There we go. All right, we're gonna blend this up. Loud noise. <laughs> and blended. Let me put this down for a second. All right, so now what I'm going to do is kind of split this batter in half. If I can get my... There. That way I can... Half of it's going to be white. The other half is going to have the confetti. So I'm trying to do a little bit more with the white. And I need to add some titanium dioxide to that. Titanium dioxide is water soluble. So I am mixing that up. And let's just the tiniest bit. This isn't supposed to discolor this fragrance well, but just to be on the safe side, we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of the titanium dioxide let's move that over there there now we're all nice and centered again got a little bit of fragrance to this one i'm not going to add the fragrance to the other one until i start messing with it mix this up and then i'm going to add in the 
confetti. Stay still. <laughs> That's a loud noise. Oh, but it smells good. All right. So I'd rather not stick one this now that it's got the confetti in there. So we are going to use a spoon to mix this up. That's not a spoon. That's a spatula. Words are hard for me sometimes. Uh, I find up I trip over words a lot. I will know the right word in my head, but when I open my mouth, a different one comes out. And it's very frustrating sometimes, especially since I know what I'm trying to say, then it just doesn't happen. Ooh. I need a better table. I'm working on it though. All right, so to this one, we're gonna add the pink, which is from Mad Micah's. It is Hot Pants. There we go. And I don't want it to be bright, bright. I kind of want like a cake effect. So, you know, like a layered cake. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that. Now we're going to add the rest of our fragrance oil to it. Doop, 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 doop. Blendy blendy. Ooh, me likey. Okay. Set this aside. Set this aside. And now it is fun time. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with just a layer of the pink. Give that a moment, because I want this to kind of set up a little bit so that I can pour this on top of it. The layers probably won't be perfect, but I'm okay with that. What I really want is just that stacked design. <clears throat> so I'm gonna give this a moment to set and I'll be right back. Okay, I believe we are set it up enough that we can add the next layer. I am gonna kinda use my spatula here to try to break the fall, maybe. Can you see? Let me try to do this where you can see. Plop, plop, plop. I'm a chronic comer. There. That looks... There. All nice and flattened out now. We'll get a different spatula. This one's like so thick that I'm pretty sure I can pour right on top of that because this one's going to be not as hard to do. Let's see. This is one of those times when I wish there was smell a vision because this really smells good. I'm very, very fond of this fragrance and I don't know, sometimes I think certain, I don't know, just I guess everyone's different. Some fragrances, it seems like they're like overpowering when they're fruity or too floral, but I like them whenever there's, it's strong but not overpowering and it smells i mean good and of course everybody wants them to smell good there's not really a there all 
right. I think we're ready for the next one, or should I wait a minute? Let's go for it. Oh, that would help too. Maybe if I do it like this. I always start out with like 60% of a plan. You know, I, I kind of have a picture in my head. Sometimes I write it down. And I'll draw a picture of kind of what I want. But... I, I like to kind of stay flexible because, you know, you just, if I give myself like a rigid idea of what I want to accomplish, and then if something goes wrong, I get like very upset. So I like to uh, kind of give myself like an outline and some like notes of what I want and like a picture in my head and then just kind of go with it after that. It was really hard for me to learn that as an adult. I've always been like super perfectionist and, you know, very type A personality. And it has really benefited me as I've gotten older to really learn how to kind of let go of some of that control and to just enjoy the process. And, uh, I've, you know, I've really enjoyed seeing what comes out. It's, you know, very satisfying whenever I get to cut this tomorrow and be like, look, this is what we got. Like it's either exactly what I wanted or it's different, but it still looks good and it smells good. And at the end of the day, it's a bar of soap and it will wash you. And that's really all you can say. And, uh, there. I want it flat. So this is one of those times when I'm trying really hard to get something to look the way I want it to. I'm not supposed to do that, Jeffy. Making soap is one of those things. It's like part science and part art. And, uh, you know, of course, the formulation, that's got to be done accurately it's very important that it's done correctly but at the same time you know the endless possibilities of fragrances and essential oils and what i can do with the design and try and new techniques and you know let's see if i can do this and how does this work and it's very very gratifying for me i uh, kind of fell into it on accident and uh, i was instantly just instantly just addicted to doing this is it quickly became like my favorite thing and i think about it all the time i quite enjoy it and um, i was just doing it for my own satisfaction and you know you be showing people and they're like oh how much and I'm like what oh you know if I sell the soap that I make I can buy more ingredients to make more soap and that's really how it got started and then at some point I'm like you know what I, I really want to do this and I'm going to make this legit and um I sat and cried because I am afraid to do things sometimes. And um, I was like, you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I can beat myself up over it later. But at the end of the day, I, I want to do this. And I'm going to try. And I'm going to try my hardest. And I'd say that starting this channel has pretty much been a very good evidence of how much I enjoy making soap and how much I uh, like sharing that with others because I am not someone who would ever be, you would never think I'm someone who would have a YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm very introverted. I enjoy mostly staying at home. I, I do have friends, but 
you know, as an adult, I've kind of learned it's, I see them when I can, and I don't, you know, try to overcommit myself, and anybody who's friends with me knows how I am. They're probably the same way, and so it works out perfectly that we don't put expectations on each other for, you know, we have to get together every weekend or things like that. Usually we message each other, send each other funny memes, and you'd be like, I just started this book, and uh, there we go. You have to read it. Um, I'm very open with uh, the fact that I have, you know, uh, clinical depression. I have been on treatment now for six years, and I do very well most of the time, but um, it is still very funny to me to make, you know, jokes at my own expense when it comes to, like, you know, oh, look, mental illness is fun. But I like this. Say I was talking and got distracted by soap. Do, 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 do. Me likey. I think I'm going to add something to the top, though. What do you guys think? Should I add some glitter? I've got some good glitter. I don't like to do a lot of glitter just because I'm not glittery person, but I think it'll zhuzh it up a little bit. Let me get some glitter. Okay, I got, I have a little bitty packet of what's called fairy dust from the good glitter. I'm obsessed with anything cottage core and fairy related, so I think this will do just the trick. Right down the center there. Doop, 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 doop. Perfect. I am very satisfied. I cannot wait to come back tomorrow and cut this bad boy open and see what we've got on the inside. I'm excited to see if my layers turned out as well as I think they did. So I'm going to set this aside. We'll be back tomorrow to cut this bad boy up and see what we got. So for now, drink water and whatever type of day you're having today, try to make the most of it. And I will see you soon.